I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. I wanted to make this video for a while, and I really hope that you find it uh, useful to you. So when I started LARPing many years ago, people were full of advice. They'd tell you, uh, you know, stuff about your costume, stuff about armor, stuff about the genre, how to play. But one topic that no one ever discussed with me was chafing and rubbing. So, you know, they have plenty of advice on drinking water, bringing extra socks, and how bedding should work. However, this chafing subject was never really tackled. And I'm not sure if it's because people didn't really know how to address it or if no one really had a good solution. So, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what I do, and it definitely works. So, I have a buddy uh, that LARPs, and this guy told me one time that he basically covers himself in KY jelly. And uh, that's how he prevents chafing. I had another person once tell me that they basically put baby powder all over themselves. And, you know, to me, just the visuals I get from this, this greasy snowman uh, it just makes me want to vomit in my mouth. And it bothers me that I think more than probably just these one or two people do this type of stuff. And, you know, does it work? Sure, I'm sure it probably does work. But, my goodness, the mess just the ugh, factor of it all there's got to be a better way come on man so I set out to sort of find my own way to tackle this now it's not something that would come up every single event but I know events where it's hot and you're moving a lot it certainly does become a factor and it's not you know a, a, a big person thing or a little person thing this affects everyone and it doesn't matter you know how thin you are and if your thighs don't touch you can still get chafing uh, happening and I think it's important for everyone to consider addressing that because if you start getting rubbed raw in certain spots like your ankles you know obviously your groin your upper body somewhere it can really put a damper on your fun especially if it's something that happens like the first day you're at an event so we really do need to tackle this now what i do is i went out and took a page out of the sports players book and i bought myself some starter sort of you know spandex uh shorts basically and what it is is that these shorts are are so smooth and so tight that when you wear them, you know, the friction isn't there because it's the fabric rubbing on the fabric um, instead of, you know, flesh on flesh. So this is a lifesaver. And, uh, you know, I just wear it all the time now when I go to events. Now, if you're the type of event where you don't do a lot of physical activity or if it's like a parlor LARP or something, maybe this stuff might not be necessary. But the type of games that I attend where it's, you know, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, and it's basically you're running around the entire time. Uh, this type of stuff is a necessity. And you can still wear all your period stuff over top of it. No one's going to see these probably. And... Um, you know, they're made for anyone. It doesn't matter, you know, what gender uh, you may be. These work for anybody. And these fit me, so you can find them in your size. Now, you might not be able to get them at a store, but you can certainly order them online or go to a sports specialty shop and find a pair that will fit you. And uh, they're very inexpensive. I mean, maybe somewhere between 5 to $20 for this. And you can buy a couple of different pairs. Obviously, if you're going to LARP for multiple days, you're going to want multiple pair. But, uh, you know, to me, they're just a lifesaver. I've been wearing them for about 10 years and have not had any sort of chafing issues at all since. And um, I just can't, you know, suggest an item like this enough. These are starter brand, but, you know, a lot of different companies make them. They make generic versions and they all do the same stuff. If you get a pair that doesn't work, you can always, you know, buy another pair later. But you want to avoid uh, sort of like the boxer briefs and that type of stuff you need something that is skin tight and is a smooth fabric that will slide and not catch on itself or ride up and these stay in place and they don't do any of that weird stuff because they're meant to they're engineered to for sports types athletic stuff and uh, they will stay in place and do their job so definitely recommend looking into these and some of them you know they wick moisture away and stuff but really all you're looking for is just something that allows smooth movement and they make shirts like this as well so if you get any sort of friction in your arm areas or any place else they make shirts like this as well that you can wear and this is an awesome underlayer for you and like I said under your kit under your costume nobody's gonna see it anyway so it doesn't really impact um, 
you know, your costume being authentic, but it's going to save you uh, from all those nasty rubs. Now, a lot of people like to wear boots at games, and I can tell you from wearing boots and uh, leg armor of various types that I would get sometimes either on the ankles or, you know, the back of the leg, get some nasty rubs from that type of stuff. And really, <clears throat> having good fitting boots that come up high enough and uh, make sure that they're tied securely. And if you wear high boots, you're gonna also have to wear a high sock. So don't wear low socks with a high boot because that's gonna rub and create all kinds of problems down on your lower leg for you. So just make sure that if you're wearing boots, that they're tied appropriately. If there's armor, make sure that it's over the boot if you can get it over the boot. And if you can't, make sure you have socks that are high enough. I mean, it's kind of dorky to wear knee-high socks but who cares you know they're gonna be underneath your costume nobody's gonna see them get them put them on and make sure that you're protecting that lower area from those boot rubs and that lower armor rub now if you're wearing a you know period stuff that addresses that then this may not be a concern for you but I know many times usually playing post-apocalyptic style games I'm wearing gear that doesn't necessarily fit properly because that's the style and I'll get a lot of weird irritation from boots rubbing in bad places you know, uh, greaves that are homemade or, or leg armor that is homemade sliding around and, and just doing bad things and this is all stuff that you may not discover you know when you're trying it on or even from a few hours of gameplay this might not be something you discover until Saturday evening uh, that something has been rubbing you and then finally it's cut through enough of your skin that it's into something where you're starting to feel it uh, so you need to think about these things before you go ahead and go to a game especially if it's a brand new costume that you've never done before because sometimes it does take hours or maybe even a day or two to wear upon you so just make sure that the boots are tied tight you got high socks that come up above the boot and that'll stop a lot of rubbing and chafing down there now one other thing that I want to address is uh, your nipples now for many years I had my nipples pierced and I was always freaking out at LARP that I was going to get them caught on something and rip one of them out. Now when you're wearing armor over top of it, I mean it's not really that big of a deal as long as you get the armor on and off without snagging them, you're okay. But when you NPC or you have the armor off and you just have a shirt on or maybe just a tabard on. I was always frightened that you know a swipe or someone's uh, swing was going to catch one of them and just rip it out, and um, you know this stuff does happen all the time and it just really bothered me. So a lot of times what I would do is I would just get uh, big band aids and they make band aids that have a pretty big area inside that you can just put over each one. The problem with band-aids is that the adhesive isn't that great so depending on how hot it was out and stuff sometimes they would stay the whole vent sometimes you have to reapply them each day or, or maybe twice a day and uh, they're not they were better than nothing but they weren't great I mean if someone hit you it still hurt but mostly it was there just to prevent the ripping uh, of the jewelry out I know a lot of people still have pierced nipples and uh, if you haven't already come up with a solution or if you're just hoping that uh, luck is in your favor I'm telling you one day it'll happen so get those band-aids and put them over there now the band-aids are not the ideal solution though anyone who runs or does long distance running or marathons they already know that they make nipple shields nipple guards nipple protectors whatever you want to call them and i'll include a picture here and maybe some links below these are something that you're probably not going to find at your everyday store you may have to go to a runner specific store or maybe a sports store might have them but probably you're going to be ordering them online and they can be a little costly but some of them are reusable um, depends on what you want to do uh, there's also some videos online where you can make your own if you care to go that route but these are a lot more substantial they go over your nipples and they're meant to prevent shirts from rubbing on it now if you run long marathons your shirts can actually rub so much on your nipples that it'll actually make them bleed which is pretty crazy and LARPs they're not really as intense as you know running 50 miles or something but 
with armor shifting around and stuff sliding around and I'll tell you what I do walk a lot at LARPs uh, you know I can put in a three-day LARP I would probably put in 40 miles so you know it starts to get pretty close to what those runners may be experiencing when you're talking about armor shifting and sliding all day over that and I would suggest looking into this product you just put it on a lot of its adhesive it just sticks right on and it just protects your nipples from rubbing and chafing on your armor and also if they're pierced it would also protect them from that as well so I definitely suggest looking into that uh, also and between you know having the the high socks and the f good fitting boots you know your good uh, under layer you know be it just the shorts or the shirt as well and if you have your low nipple protection on then really you're not going to have any problems with chafing you can avoid having to coat yourself in a layer of ky jelly or baby powder and uh not look like some sort of greasy snowman running around the battlefield and uh if you currently do that you know please you know i if it works for you great but you should really look into this because this is a lot easier to clean up you only have to buy it once and it'll last you for a while and uh, it's a heck of a lot easier to slide these on before a game than to go into the restroom and uh, perform whatever the ritual is uh, of, of smearing this stuff all over you and uh, like I said the stuff I talked about is you know covers anyone no matter who you are and uh, I really hope that you find it helpful if you already wear stuff like this then great if you have specific brands or better ideas please comment below if there's other little tips and tricks that you know of please comment below these are just things that I've done and my American style boffer LARP and I know that you know there are specific undergarments that go underneath armor and stuff if you're doing it properly to help prevent all this type of stuff the thing is not a lot of people do that they'll buy just the chest plate and back plate and they won't really have any concern for the underneath they'll just wear a t-shirt underneath or just a tabard and you know that's not how it's supposed to work um however we're not really talking about that type of uh rubbing and chafing i meant more specifically just in general whether you're npcing a game or pcing a game this is all stuff that you can do to just make the larp experience a lot more enjoyable because if you're not worried about you know being physically uncomfortable then you can really enjoy the game a lot more if you liked the video please give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already be sure to share this video with everyone you know and if you don't share the video at least share the knowledge and maybe let them know where you found out about it and of course as always adventure on Yep, these guys are a lifesaver. Big time.